day are 14 years old, but they were not in family court. We're on Brompton Road where you can see power lines dangling above me and over my shoulder here, even a transformer. We are as close as we can get to the scene right now, about 100 yards away from Martin Luther King Boulevard, where that liquor store was, where the whole incident went down. Now, we've seen tactical teams knocking on doors here to try to get access to roofs and back windows. The good sign that we see right now, though, is you can see them behind me packing up. 50 to 60 of New York's bravest will be in and out of these rooms, training at this new facility weekly. At the annual Winter Jam event, you can get a lesson and even slap on some skis. And guess what? The best part? It's all for free. Let's try this out. Here we go. In Central Park, Tara Jakeway, CBS 2 News. At just the right time, the rain stopped and the sky opened up for this, the most colorful part of the parade. Police say they are now on the hunt for that woman who, as of now, has not been charged with anything. She, of course, on Saturday inexplicably climbed inside that exhibit with lions. They had to put this sign up here at the entrance to deter hundreds of Jersey City residents from coming here to get tested. This is the piece that they just removed from the statue and that they will be replacing. And Demotis says that they're actually going to refurbish the whole thing so that the statue's patina will be fixed or its shine. So when you look at it tomorrow, in the days ahead, coming up to the 30th anniversary, it'll look better than ever. We're in downtown Manhattan, Tara Jakeway, CBS 2 News.